This is going to be one of the most rough cut videos you see on this channel, but in this video I'm going to show you how to do a teardown of a specific computer and recover the hard drive from it. It's an e-machine and I'm recovering the hard drive out of it and it's a little complicated, but once you know how to do, it can go very quick. Let's take a look. This is the specific model of the PC that I'm tearing down. It's an e-machine mini PC, quite a few years old now. It only has two gigabytes of DDR2 memory. It's the e-machine EL1333G-03W. It's a small little mini PC here with Windows 7, AMD processor, NVIDIA graphics. Not too bad for what it was, but the power supply seems to have gone bad after all these years. And so I'm going to show you how to save the hard drive from it to back up the data that the owner had on it to their new computer. For this, you will need only one tool, a Phillips head screwdriver. There are two screws on this side panel with the grill where you can see into it and see the fan and everything beneath it. There are two screws for it, right here by the handle and right here by the power supply. Unscrew those screws and we'll remove the side panel. And if you want to put it back together, set these aside and remember where they were. I use this little handle here to just pull on the side panel and pull it off, set it out of the way. Next, we need to detach the power cables from the DVD drive, the power and the data cable. This is the data cable called a SATA cable. Just simply pull back on it, use your finger as leverage. It will be a little tight and it will press up against this fan here, but it will come out. Same thing with the power, just pull it out and you're good to go. Now flip around to the front. I'm trying to do this without tearing up this chair. It's fairly nice. All right, there are three. We're gonna remove this front panel here, and there are three little tabs you just have to lift up, lift up on to do so. Right here, right here, and then right here. Lift up on that. It will fold out and then come completely off. There's no cables. There's no nothing. It has a hinge system that held it in place. Now we need to move. The hard drive is actually beneath this DVD drive down here. It is down under there. Seems really crazy to get to, but by removing this front panel, we can take out this screw and this screw and pull out this entire cage with the DVD drive and the hard drive. And that will give us access to the hard drive to then easily remove it. Now with those two screws removed, we can simply lift up on this cage and start to Pull it away from the computer, but you will see it is held in place by some more cables plugged into the hard drive. We'll need to remove these two next, the same way as we did with the DVD drive before. Those cables removed, this whole unit comes out. And then you can see the hard drive here is mounted at the bottom, with four more screws screwing into the bottom of the hard drive. Now, you will want to be very careful here not to touch this green circuit board. It's called a PCB. If you touch this, you can end that ribbon cable. If you touch that with your fingers, you can uh, cause risk of killing the hard drive. And you also don't want to build up any static electricity. So keep, keep touching with both hands on this metal cage as it will ground you out and prevent you from hopefully killing the drive. And then you want to set the drive on a static free space, such as a hard table, not the cloth chair or the carpet. So just remove these four screws and the hard drive will slide out. I'm going to remove them now. It's also worth noting that these screws are different than the other ones we've used so far in the computer. When you go to put it back together, if you're putting it back together, you don't want to confuse these. These rounded ones are the ones for the hard drive, not the case or the DVD drive holder. That the screws are removed, I can simply slide out this hard drive and it is free to connect to another computer. Let's take a look. It is a Seagate Barracuda 500 gig. Not a bad hard drive, not at all. And it should still be perfectly fine to recover the data off of since only the power supply went bad in this computer. It is worth noting if you need to make any other changes or repairs to the computer, you now have access to the memory sticks, the expansion slots to add in expansion cards, the computer fan, which I would definitely recommend dusting all of this out. It's actually doing pretty well given its age, but always dust out computers while you're working on them. The CMOS battery to replace cables, and the power supply unit right there. That is the power supply that would need to replace. There's a screw holding it in there, and then four more on the back panel. But this is as far as I am going with this build. You can also remove the memory card reader setup here as well. Now to hook up the hard drive to another computer, you can either do it internally, hooking it back up like it was in here, or use an external dock like this one. This is a Duet Black X from Thermaltake. There's a lot of different brands online. For a mechanical hard drive like this, as opposed to something like a solid state drive, you would need uh, something that 
provides power, not just a USB connection, which this one does. I will post a link to a couple cheap ones on Amazon in the video description below. But this is how you pull the hard drive out and start recovering data from it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. I do lots of tech tutorials, guides, how-tos, and product reviews. Uh, come check out our Patreon where you can contribute to the channel to help keep this going and get early access to videos. And follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you next time. This is what the hard drive looks like running in this kind of dock. Again, you want to be careful of touching the back. This one actually came with a rubber sleeve for the hard drive. I just did not bring it with me.